Hi, good morning. So it is another week and I'm excited to share with you just a few things that I do that makes a difference when I'm preparing to paint. So Relax and Pain has grown to be something really special to me. And just hearing your wonderful comments really inspires me to keep thinking about what's next and what would you like to see. And one of the things that I've been doing a lot recently is um, share with people how to draw their designs. And so I, today I wanted to show you one little aspect for getting your projects ready to paint and then hoping that you guys will paint it during the week and um, your pencil drawing and share it with us so that we can see um, what you've created from it. All right, so are you relaxed? I wanted to make sure this morning that you're relaxed and that you are enjoying the morning with me and figuring out what, what you would like to do as an artist, what you'd like to become as an artist and how your strokes um, will improve by just little techniques. Uh, maybe I can share some with you. I do have many relax and paints now after doing this for a few weeks. And I, I'd love to hear what you think. And if you have been able to share with somebody um, what you've accomplished or what you might have learned. Okay. So I'm going to bring you to my overhead camera. I'm going to be quiet so I don't wake up anybody in the house here. And I am going to let's move to another camera thank you for being on this morning i'm just going to spend a few minutes sharing with you a little bit of a drawing and i've got the sets of pencils that i use that's a hard an h is a hard and a um so it's how hard the clay is to let you know i also use these pencils mechanical pencils sometimes because they're too lead and they have a white eraser I also have my Moo erasers, which I love. I have these and you can cut them or shave them to be points. And we use a stump and the stump is um, just wound up paper, but they're usually not this big. I was looking for my small stump this morning and I couldn't find it, but I'll show you. And I use my finger sometimes also. So I know this sounds crazy and you're out there saying I cannot draw. So one of the things I want you to see is I put my finger along this paper and I'm going to get a straight line. That's not very straight. There we go. And I'm going to do a clay pot. So if I have it straight, whether I do a container or an urn or whatever, that helps me to see what I'm going to do. I want to decide how big I want the top of this to be because when I paint this, I want to paint my flowers inside. All right. So I can decide, I want you to see if I want to leave that like that for a few minutes to let you see that I'm sketching. Now what happens is many people start drawing and they draw really hard. Okay. I don't want you to draw hard. I want you to sketch. All right. So if I'm sketching, it, I can erase it. All right. So look, now see this curve here? That's the same curve. Let's make it a little bit longer. The same curve on the lip of this clay pot. This is clay. You can make it in any color you want. All right, so see I came down. Now I need to get this straight so I make sure I've got that shape I need. These wouldn't be so hard. They'll be a little softer right here. So you all do this along with me. If you can't do it right now, get some pencils and paper and come do it with me a little bit later. Okay. All right, decide how tall I want this. And then the curve here, the curve here, and the curve here should be the same curve. And I don't have this quite as drastic as I do the base. Okay, are you with me? So now what I have to decide, I just want you to see that all these curves are supposed to be the same. 
Okay, the Moo eraser is wonderful. So white eraser lasts really good. Okay. Now see, a erase is easy if you're sketching. All right, now one little trick I'm gonna show you with this is that you can go over and over and over and then you finally can see the real oval. Same thing with a round. But now this means, see, this is what's inside the clay pot. Well, I might not want that much showing. That means I'm standing above it, looking at it. So I can take and decide I want it skinnier. This oval would be skinnier. Now I can erase this easy because I haven't drawn it hard. I haven't drawn hard. So I just want you to see if I try to erase that, see everything comes off but that hard line. Because so, I can come right here. And then my dirt would be inside here. Now, now I want to show with you, show, share with you that where I want to shade this, this is what helps you about painting. So you have the pot and then you decide where you want to shade. All right. You also, you could say, all right, I want another pot back here. And I can have a larger rim on this pot. And I, I'm going to make it shorter because I want it behind here. All right. So that's not looking too good. It doesn't quite look like it's behind. All right. Now it does. All right. So what you want to do is let's put some shading back here. My watch is noisy. Okay, so this shadow, can you see the shadows coming here? And then we want a shadow here a little bit for this one. All right, now I'm going to take my finger and rub this. And that's where I take floating medium and I shade in there. The other way I can do this is take my stump. And then I can come down with the stump and watch this. It's like I'm using a pencil because it makes the depth and makes it dark for me. All right. So right under here, see, I don't have to even put any more lead. I'm just getting that shadow. Now, when you do this, I want you to see, guys, that that's where you're going to float when you paint this. You're going to float it so this will help you figure that out before you before you actually go and paint. Where is the shadow going to be? Underneath here, you're going to float some darker underneath here. Even if you use coffee latte and some brown. Okay. So this is called a stump. We have them in like three piece sets. Are they in your local craft store? See? There we go. All right, just that easy. You can decide if you want to come in here and shade a little bit more. And you can also decide that you want to do some scrolls in here. Let me show you. If I came down here and just like this could be into your clay pot and it would be depth and, and sculptured. Okay, but I just want to show you how fun. You can just do some leaves. All right, just a little bit of trim on here and then you can have it around the clay pot. See how I'm going around here. Okay. 
Now this is just shadowing, which is the same thing I did up here. Okay, now watch what happens. Right in here is where you'd float some, sh some edges. I could do all underneath, under here, under here. See how that makes that leaf? I don't know if you can see, but it makes that leaf look like it lifts. All right, so I'm going underneath these. Okay, and this is just a little bit of shading there. Same thing goes here. I want a little bit of shading back there so it looks like it's behind it. It's a little crooked there, so I can come up a little bit more here. There we go. See that? Now that's a pattern. So you're all ready. You can come in here, guys, and then add your leaves on here. Leaves, have some of them hanging over. And then, just in here, I like I scruffy some greenery in here. Have a few leaves coming out of there. Now look, I'm gonna come in here and maybe paint a trumpet up here. All right, with the depth right in here. So this is underneath the flower. These are just little, like I have calyx on here. Now I know I'm a little bit faster than you might be, but I want you to see that by doing this, you're gonna have the shading that you need inside this trumpet. You're gonna have shading underneath here. Does that help you see? Look at that. That helps you see that right around here and in here where we want the shading to be around the leaves. Very fun, simple ways to see if you're gonna like what you paint. So if you're out there saying, I can't do that, I want you to see how quickly I showed you to do a pot. Now, a couple of things I'll show you. See, this is how I'm gonna have the leaf in here. And that's exactly what I do. You know, I paint the pot and then I come back and add the leaves. This line right here is that lead that won't wash, <laughs> that won't come off. So I want you to see, these are four fingers wide spread. This is tight. The pot's three fingers over here. Tight. These are tight four fingers for this one, and five fingers up here, and it's five fingers tall. All right. So if you try this with me. You can stop me and start it again. I want you to see that you can draw and add flowers in here, add some daisies, add what, and pencil out what you want your design to look like, even if you don't think you can draw, you can decide. I'm gonna have some little buds going over here. All right, and little daisies in here. All right, and this flower is a trumpet, a big, I know there's another name for them, but it's got a trumpet base and they're usually purplish. All right, and then this can just be some lower ground cover, some little green leaves, and you can spill it out the edge and spill some over, or just have little vines hanging, okay? So I want you, I know this isn't painting, this is preparing you to paint. And this is just some of the art paper that we have that you can paint right on this if you want. Or you can trace this with tracing paper and use graphite paper and put this onto a surface that you're working on, All right? So that fast, you can say, I created this myself. But let me see if you can paint this and show me what you do with it. So I'm excited to be here with you this morning. I hope you have a peaceful, wonderful day. And think about saying something kind to somebody out there that needs it today. I love it when you say kind things to me. Thank you so much for watching and 
share with me. I want to see what you do with it. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.